Alrighty guys, Nick here with another Heroes of Mavia strategy video. Um, so, got the headquarters to level 4 last night. That was a bit of a grind. Probably had to play, I don't know, 50 to 60 matches to work up to this. Uh, the game, we also realized, kicks you off after a little while. If you've just tried to stay logged in, I think it might be like 8 hours or something like that. But... <laughs> Um, I was saving up the money to upgrade this thing and I had like a hundred thousand and you need a hundred and twenty thousand and then yeah the game kicked me off I logged back on as fast as I could and I got raided and lost like 20k so that set me back about an hour but yeah I was able to finally get it um, you need this headquarters for because you basically get to a point where you can't upgrade anything unless you've got it um, so I was able to upgrade my mortar to uh, level two, which is sweet. This is still level one. Um, I got like up to 90 walls now. So I just doubled up my walls. I don't know. This always looks somewhat intimidating whenever I encounter it. So that's what I did, but there's probably a much better setup. Um, so anyways, another thing this morning, they had uh, like a really long maintenance um shut down or whatever it's called it was like i don't know felt like six seven hours something like that so i didn't really get to play that much today um which is probably good because i had to work anyway so um one thing i noticed though i was able to upgrade this laboratory to level three which is awesome and that's uh let me get some of these other units right here so that's also pretty sweet I forgot to actually queue these up. Which fucking sucks, because now I'm gonna have to. Oh, okay, sweet, I already got a bunch made. Let's just do this. I like to get 50 of these guys. I like to get one of these new guys, and these guys are badass, by the way. Um, I love the way they look, and they just float in there and drop bombs. So it's a good way to get to the mortars. Let's see what else do i have to recruit here so yeah we got one of those guys i like to do i think six of these one of these boom carts and i think that's it yeah that's 70 out of 140 which is my max so then i just queue up another 50 of these just to have them going so i don't have to wait and you can um, queue up the other ones, but sometimes it can get messy. Uh, I usually use all of these um, these guys when I'm fighting, but um, that way, so when I run out of them, it fills up again real nicely and it doesn't get all messed up. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wait for those guys to get made. Um, so yeah, anyways, I upgraded this lab. <laughs> to level three so I could do some more research and make these guys stronger. One thing I noticed, and I don't I don't think I'm wrong about this, but this guy cost 35,000 oil yesterday when I checked to upgrade. And he's a good one to upgrade because as you can see, his damage per second doubles. So this was gonna be the first guy I upgraded after getting this lab to level three. Now it's 60,000 oil. So if you guys got this, this guy upgraded to level two before this morning when they did maintenance, um, good for you. Cause it probably only cost you 35,000. I'm gonna have to pay 60,000 now. So that's like, it's gonna be a little bit of a grind there, at least at this stage. Um, other things, I'm just slowly kind of upload upgrading these things as I get the funds. It's a good way to spend your gold um, so that when you're done playing, you can have as little gold as possible um, in your storages. So you don't have to rush them. Um, you know, save some of these things for the end of the day when you, you know, at least two of them because you only got two engineers i don't know if you can actually ever and upgrade this engineer hut it doesn't have the option to it just gives you information all the other things have an option to upgrade um, but yeah then then make sure at the end of the day you don't want to have any gold sitting there um so upgrade these fences 
This is a really good way to spend gold. Why would you leave it sitting overnight? So yeah, these are these uh, little bombers floating around. I think they look pretty sweet. Mortar level two looks a little different. Headquarters looks a little bit more futuristic. Uh, what else? What else? Still don't have a hero pedestal. Um, that's something I need to get, even though I don't think you can get the hero right away. Um, there's still, yeah, anti air missiles. Get another one of those. Don't know where I'll put it. Probably gonna have to change this design at one point. Um, but yeah, it's working. No one attacked me last night. Um, I just got attacked like an hour ago. Um, I did join Roy Boy, um, Jesus Martinez's alliance. Um, follow him on Twitter. He's got a lot of good information, and um, this is, his alliance is recruiting. So um, check us out. I think we're, uh, if you look at the top leaderboards we're number 85 in the world right now and in the u.s we're number seven so that's pretty sweet so you can see um a lot of us are getting close to a thousand so that's good to see it's really cool um, i joined the alliance i think yesterday or the day before so yeah check out roy boy alliance so anyways let's see if my units are done pretty sure they are yep i'm ready to go so let's go fight some guys um what am i doing why do i always press that battles over here let's go fight some guys and see what we can find fighting people costs me 120 gold now so it's not really that much but uh it does go up so yeah if you look here kind of decent defenses the mortar is right in the middle that's going to be hard to get to, and that's what you want to take out first. Plus, you don't get any trophies. You don't lose any trophies, but you don't get any, and you only get 100 coins. So, nexting that place, it's just not worth it. All right, this looks like a nice, clean setup. Probably could get in there and get that mortar. They have anti-air missiles, um, so you can't just spam these guys or anything. So, yeah, we're going to next it. No trophies either. I don't know why. A lot of these don't give you any trophies. Um, so, But I'm finding battles a lot qu quicker. Ooh, so look at this. I love when this happens. This guy is so screwed right now. He's Damn, no trophies again, but I'll take basically the free coins. But look, whenever you see these fences around things they're being upgraded so they're useless like if this has a fence on it i don't care how good everything else is if that anti-aircraft uh has a fence around it it's just out of commission so you can just spam these guys and that's exactly what we're gonna do let's just start crushing things and then yeah i don't even know if we're gonna need 50 of these guys we're probably only gonna need like So, now we just kind of sit back and wait. This is easy. I mean, these guys don't have any um, anything that can attack these flying ones. Uh, you can see how this unit is just useless. This one's too. So, that happens sometimes. You know, they might kill. Oh, wow. Might as well drop these guys down here. So that we can clear this. But yeah, look at that thing. Just, I love the animation on this game, too. They did such a good job. Pretty sure, like, even you can see the bullet casings coming out. When everything explodes, it looks really cool. I think, like, the pieces of the machinery fly in different, like, ways every time it explodes. There's differences in those little animations. The explosions look great. This is why I think mobile gaming with crypto is just gonna go crazy. Um, there's a lot of other games that are really hyped up, but the mobile section of it does not get enough love. Um, the games are gonna 
become more and more popular i think so that was a good battle right there no trophies unfortunately got a little bit of gold a little bit of oil probably find something to spend that on um, and yeah, it kind of just at the grind now. The next headquarters cost 700 and uh, 700,000 gold. That's a lot. I mean, you can see I only get in like a couple thousand at a time. I'm lucky if I find a guy that's got like 10,000 gold right now. So I'm not even going to try for headquarters five, um, maybe until this weekend this weekend coming up i just don't think i'll have enough time i need like a day literally a whole day where i can just grind away at these battles um as far as missions i only did um one other mission from my last video i beat the mortar one just to get four thousand gold to upgrade my headquarters um i'm not even gonna do these right now honestly like i want to save the loot um, in case I'm like real tired one night and I'm sick of battling and I just want to do a quick one and get an extra 5,000 loot or 5,000 oil or gold, I'm just going to save it for that because um, I don't need it right now for anything. So that's about it, guys. Um, it's going good. I love this game so far. Um, I think it's going to do very well from at least an addiction gameplay uh, standard. The token comes out tomorrow, I think. The TGE token generating event happens tomorrow, February 6th, 2024. Um, how much is it going to be worth? I don't know. I think there's like 250,000 tokens. The vesting periods aren't bad. Um, I think it'll probably drop when it's launched. I don't know what the initial price is the vcs got in it at but um it'll probably go down for a while and then it'll probably go up slowly as the bull run sets in and it'll probably spike at a certain point and then it'll drop again and it'll probably never get as high as it did in that bull run again because other games will come out and this will likely lose its relevancy but then again clash of clans also has Clash of Clans has been around since 2012. Clash of Clans is a 12-year-old game, and um, that still has 80 million players a month. And it makes half a billion dollars in revenue every year. So if this game, which is very similar, can capitalize on that market, maybe it will stay around for a long time. Maybe it will. I don't know, but I'll certainly be looking to see if those NFTs, those land NFTs ever dip in price. I would love to get one. So that's another Heroes of Mavia video. You guys like me on Twitter. Um, subscribe to me on YouTube. If you guys like the content, let me know. I'll keep pumping them out. Later.